With Tommy Wielden Jr., uh, Tommy, you guys won the league by 13 points last year. Um, I guess the first question to ask is, how do you improve? Yeah, it's um, well, I think league play um, is something that's very much our specialty. Now, uh, now we want to get good at cup competitions as well as maintain that level of uh, success in the league. And chemistry is key, it takes time to get it and when you have it, um, it's essential to your success. And chemistry is all about the time and space to make a decision. So whether it's the tactical nuances that you're putting on the pitch to the relationships, pairings and triangles that you're putting together. Uh, but yeah, I think with us now having, I think it was 16 um, from, from the team that won the league, it's, it's really important and I think we've added more quality, which uh, I think for our guys now, what, what you'll see is, you know, we had Maya Bevan, Golden Boot winner, you know, coming off the bench in the first game in CONCAF, we had Ali Moussi, Players Player of the Year, you know, coming off the bench in the second leg. Uh, I think we're going to see now that if we're to attack the other three competitions, we're going to have depth and the ability to change games as it goes. How do you make sure that that, that motivation, that level remains high with these players? I think it all comes down to the pursuit of excellence. You know, we have it on the walls at Spruce Meadows. It's going to be very, very tough to win a league by 13 points again, but we're going to try and do so. Now I'd like to build this team and lift trophies year in, year out, because we have to be addicted to this experience of getting to CONCACAF and playing teams like Orlando City that were a phenomenal side and experience for us to play. The end of the 2023 season yeah. um, was that final, obviously a, a huge spectacle for everybody yeah. who was watching as a neutral. What, what's kind of your lasting imprint from that game? Yeah, sometimes you leave playoffs with regret that I wish I'd have gone this way or wish I'd have done that. And, you know, as a coaching staff, could we have affected it this way or that way? Um, didn't have that. Um, I've had that in the previous playoffs. We were beaten by two moments of brilliance and we're like, well, you tip your cap because that's exactly what finals are, you know. I thought on the day our performance was better than the opposition, but they had the moments of brilliance. For us now, we don't live with, uh, with the regret of that final. We actually go, okay, we're, we got there second time in five years to be in a final. Now we want to go again. Just let's talk a little bit about some of the newcomers. Obviously, Toby Warshevsky mm -hmm. uh, took a year off, but we've seen what he can yeah. do, his numbers in this league. Diego yeah. Gutierrez, top mm -hmm. midfielder in Valor for a couple of years. Just tell me about some of these players coming in and how you've seen them fit into this squad so far already. Well, the two names you mentioned are terrific characters that know the league well. Um, and I think it was only really the change in the foreign rule why Toby found himself without uh, a club in, in the CPL. He's clean ball striker, he's technically proficient. He's that really all-round striker that I think we needed in our artillery. And then you talk about Guti in the same way. He's a progressive passer, he's a dynamic runner, and he's a really good presser. That DNA was, you know, credit to our recruitment team in, to, in terms of when his contract was out to be able to convince him to come to us. I think, you know, um, he, he could have gone outside the leagues. And then Leighton Brooks, we've got somebody with pace. And I think there's going to be big pitches and high presses that you need pace in behind. And I think you add in Lucas Diaz to that mix, who we've seen with his uh, you know, brief debut, the boy can play. You know, we need someone like Jack Barrett, who's very similar to Marco in that he's an extra player when you're in possession. And he's also very, got great reflexes as a keeper. And I think now he brings that level of training up for Marco. And he also brings that level of competition for Marco. And I think with that, we'll get better whomever we end up going with. But it's, it's certainly, we love Marco, he's our club captain, but every, car, every place on the team is up for grabs. Uh, I think it's going to be a really competitive league this year. I look at the way other teams, you know, all coaches are in place, so it allows them to bring in their own identity and also add on from what they had last year. Um, you know, there's obviously a bit of a gap, but I think that gap will close. I think the games are going to be better, which in turn makes the league better which in turn makes us better prepared for, for CONCACAF and other places uh, for the two that end up advancing from it. So I'm looking forward to this league. Uh, you know, the CONCACAF journey was really, really interesting. Uh, but now we've got three other competitions to, uh, to prepare for.